can see the hacking of it there. See that cut? Looks like it would be done with a knife. Wow. Awesome. Well, you guys are back. Huh. What a place to hang out in here. Should I go down that way or up and over the hill? Yeah, well, that is what I've been looking for again. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I should go up that way. Huh. Maybe I'll go up and then come down. Hmm. Big hole. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Next to the fur. I don't get that, what that is about, but there it is. All right, I decided to kind of go down downhill but up in the sides just to see might might be up there and looks like I'm finding more of the fur yeah so he went this way not uphill he went downhill that looks like something down in there like a bone or something check that out this is that guy's MO there it is Looks like he sat here and took this fur off. More of it. Let's go this way. Yeah. Haven't fallen yet today. Don't intend to. All right. Well, where would he go from here? Is there like a cave up in here, other than that big hole I just found? He's here for a reason. to sit. Look at all that fur. There we go, looking back to where the hair is. It's right there. I'll probably sit here for a good half hour and just get the idea of why somebody would be here. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but sometimes I find other stuff and things start to make sense. Alright, there's the hair again from the other side. The thing was going that way, but, you know, come over to the other side, see where it came from. Because it had to have come from somewhere, and I assume it's from up there. And came down here. Now, I'm not sure, but, well, I'll tell you this anyway. But since I found this, I will guarantee you that it will be gone the next time I come back. Somebody will take it, there will be no hair here at all. It will be all cleaned up, and it will be stuffed somewhere, and maybe I'll be able to find it. But uh, there it is. I should put a camera here, but I don't have another one right on me. Uh, I have to get another one and put it out here. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to head this way now. Great. Often when I find them, I find these things. The shaved bark off and then shaved on top and leaving the space. Well, I didn't film it, but down in the uh, there where the uh, hair is on the other side, there's also a couple of those one on the very bottom and one over there. And that always tells me that they're here.
Somebody was having fun digging. Could be anybody. Raccoon, anything. Although I don't find any uh, things, but. All right. Well, since I have about uh, a good hour and a half before I get picked up, and I'm about a mile away, I think I'll head off this way. There's a swamp down in here that uh, I always find things. They seem to like to leave me things down here. So let's head down there. You'd probably call that a footprint. Heading off down this way. Here's a place that uh, is weird to me. See? There's a swamp over there. Water is there, but listen to that. It sounds like it's going down into a hole. But look on top of the ground. The water's still going. That's why I keep thinking there are trenches. And these guys live up in these trenches somewhere. That's how they get around. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but over the years, I'm trying to figure this one out. Because that water is going down into something like a cave. That's pretty strange. And I cross this field and I'm going to head up into the woods there and uh, make my way around because I got to go up there about a mile or so uh, to catch my ride out of here in an hour and a bit. I'm going to trudge across this thing. This is where I'm going to camp out one day. Camp out right in that green area there so I can see 365 degrees around me and uh, look out into the woods and stuff. See if anybody crosses. The swamp is down there. That was a good uh, couple mile truck around the whole swamp area and stuff and up into the hill on this side. But I've got, well, I've got one hour. So I guess I'm gonna start heading back here. Uh, there's nothing much happening on this side, which I always find, but I always come up here just in case. But uh, let's head this way. Okay, usually when I uh, find out where they are, I find signs in, of their perimeter that they set up. Probably to tell others that they're there. But uh, there's their signs there, there, and there, there, and there. And believe it or not, over that rise and about well, maybe another few rises, maybe half a mile, is where the fur is, exactly in that direction. Coincidence? Eh, too many coincidences. I, uh, I see this every year and I know that that's where they are. Um, well, I'm going to have to come back in a couple weeks and uh, check my trail cams and uh, see what else they've been doing here. But I know now that that's their territory this year.